Now let's go over the procedures for the use of uh, PVPP. What you want to do is to use a ratio of 10 to 25 uh, grams of PVPP per hectoliter of beer. You want to uh, rehydrate that in a 10 to 1 with softened water that's been de-aerated. So you take your water, you boil it for 15 minutes, make sure you start with soft water and um, then if you're using let's say 50 grams of uh, PVPP you're going to use 500 grams of uh, de-aerated soft water and as soon as the water stops boiling you take it off to the side and you add the PVPP as soon as it starts cooling then you just let it mix and you, you leave it until it gets to room temperature when it, once it gets to room temperature, you want to blanket that container with an inert gas like uh, CO2. And then you add a magnetic stir bar and an airlock and you put it on a stir plate for about 60 minutes to fully hydrate. From there you can either, there are many places you can add the PVPP and you can add it along with silica gel at the same time. But most of the time it's either put in line as uh, the beer is transferred from the conical fermenter to the bright tank or in, in the bright tank or in your uh, uh, fermenter you add it there and let it settle out over time in that fermenter. You're supposed to have almost 100% efficiency of uh, or use of the PVPP after just 10 minutes of contact time but unless you have a very good way of filtering this out you want to leave it for at least a day or two to let it settle down to the bottom of your yeast of your fermenter or your bright tank and then rack it from above that. You also want to add it to a beer that's going to be at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Of course not freezing but in that area and that's where you want to leave the beer also while um, it's in contact with the PVPP. There's no negatives at high, having the PVPP in for longer than a day or two but you want to have it for a minimum of that amount of time. Then once you're done just rack off of it and you're good to go.